the unhealthiest restaurants in America, why it is controversial. When John Basso first opened the Heart Attack Grill, he had no idea that serving the world's unhealthiest menu would come with so much controversy. Countless lawsuits, an avalanche of bad press, and multiple heart attacks on the premises. Prior to opening what? the Heart Attack Grill in 2005, Basso owned three different- It's called the Heart Attack Grill? The place is called Heart Attack Grill. And a guy actually got a heart attack there. I'm not laughing. It's not funny. For an exercise gyms over a 12 year period where he'd advise clients on their dietary and exercise needs as well as on techniques of caloric reduction. However, he felt this was an untruthful line of work stating, it's disgusting because you're promising people things that are outside their genetic possibility. Instead of being- What do you mean genetic possibility? Let's not let's not let's not say that obesity and overweight is a genetic issue. Okay, there are hormonal issues and and there are so many other things that can cause you to gain more weight, but to the to obesity, to go to the to the obesity numbers, uh that is that's not genetics, that's just eating a slimy, crooked, dishonest peddler of health and fitness services, I would actually launch a hamburger concept that would be absolutely honest, and that's the only guiding principle. Hey, this is bad for you, and it's gonna kill you. The first heart attack- <laughs> Is that the guy? Is it like he opens a heart attack grill and he tells you it's bad for you, it's gonna kill you, but he still feeds you the food? Okay. Grill in Arizona yeah, featured honest. a front door sign reading, Caution, this establishment is bad for your health before they- <laughs> What the fuck? Is this real? Cash only because you might die before the check clears. This is a marketing thing. This is a marketing thing. He, he cracked it down, guys. He actually embraced it and cracked it down. Later add cash only because you might die before the check clears. Damn. Inside they'd proudly display the catchphrase taste worth dying for. However, the most insane piece of signage was without a doubt this reading, anyone over 350 pounds eats for free all day every day unlimited. For real? He's giving free food? How much is 350 LBS? I'm in Germany, I go with kilograms. Let's 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 do that. Uh, three hundred and fifty lbs to kg. That is one hundred and fifty-eight, you guys. One hundred and fifty-eight kilograms. That is almost two hundred kilos. What the hell? Well, no wonder it's for free all day, every day. That will be just one day before they die. With the only rules being no taking food to go, no sharing with others, and that is actually really sad, man. It's just like just it feels like he's promoting uh, these people who are obese and who need help to 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 fix it and not die, to actually die. Like come here, I will f I, I will help you die faster from food, free food. There you go. Must weigh in with doctor or nurse before each burger. <laughs> What do you mean? Like he's gonna eat one burger and then go away himself and then come back. No taking food to go. No sharing with others. No sharing with others does not include beverages. Uh, yeah, because most restaurants actually uh, profit on beverages, by the way. They don't profit on food. They profit on the drinks you, you, you drink. No sharing with others kind of does make sense because then you can just be less, have less weight and eat for free as well with a friend include beverages, although this wasn't the only unlimited service offered by the restaurant. Instead of a salad bar, there's an all-you-can-eat flatliner fries bar. To serve the that free meals, Basso took awesome. a tip from Hoot. Danger at the heart attack grill falling ill after the triple bypass. Are these the waitresses? They're nurses and he's like a doctor? It's a whole thing! Okay. Damn. ...by hiring a bunch of sexy nurses, with a theme of honesty also extending into the job application process, with questions such as whether the applicant has an inny or outy belly button, who would they have a hot one night stand with? That's on the application. That's so sexist. 
for their opinion on certain conspiracy Your opinion on conspiracy theories. Did the government cover up Roswell alien crash? Did multiple shooters kill Johnny F. Kennedy? Was the American moon landing faked? Are Bigfoot and Loch Ness monsters real? Is Tupac still alive? Wait, why is this even important? Is he trying to say that people who weigh 350 LBS, all of them believe in conspiracy theories and they share the same ideas and values? That's why, like, as a waitress, you should be the one who agrees with them. Okay, America, I'm learning more about you every day. Conspiracy theories and a comment stating no one gives a damn about your academic achievements but if you want to bore us with them go right ahead. As the head of the restaurant John spends every wow. day dressed as a doctor stating we promote nicotine, alcohol, caffeine, fat, cholesterol, sodium, all the bills. Doctor. How is this even allowed? Building blocks of a quality, healthy, good time, with these insane statements leading to his first appearance on a local news station. There is a restaurant in Tempe where the food is so rich they call their big burger the quadruple bypass. Not everybody thinks that's funny, least of all the Arizona Board quadruple of Nursing. Bypass. The news story then stated that the American Nursing Board had received five or six complaints about them calling their waitresses nurses. However, five or six complaints was oh a my small God, price look how to big pay, that given the story is. was basically free advertising. Advertising. All right, so if you want to bypass, of course, the good kind, now you know where to go. It's called the Heart Attack Grill. This then turned into further news coverage where John explained the other ways in which the restaurant might kill you. We don't do Diet Coke. We don't do light beers. We don't even provide lettuce on our burgers. With the unique... Yep. This guy is a mass murderer without touching a person, without actually committing murder. He, he cracked the system. He's doing it under law and order. Like, there is no problem whatsoever. He's living for this. You Actually, there are people. There are people. I watched this clip on Instagram the other day. It's called feederism or something like that. Where people get satisfaction by feeding another person to death. Okay? Like, that satisfies them. They keep feeding the person until that person dies and that's not committing murder but in a way it is because you're enabling that person to keep eating and eating until they die okay it's called feederism and it's a thing and this guy cracked the system approach beating all of their competitors john this is yeah, no, one actually, no one literally that's the thing no one makes them do it they do it by themselves I have the feeling this is just what you wanted. Well, I can't say that I don't enjoy the publicity. It definitely does pack the seats in the restaurant. We've been so lucky as of recently, our web traffic exceeds McDonald's.com. After noticing that media stories help the business grow, that okay. attempt to set the Guinness World Record for the world's unhealthiest burger, achieving such with the 9,982 <gasps> calorie quadruple bypass burger, although this gluttonous piece of food will be served with a side of tragedy. The Heart Attack Grill had introduced a spokesperson named Blair Riva, who at six foot eight, 570 pounds appeared in all of the restaurant's ads. I'm up another few inches. Who needs these old pants? I could eat for free. In a 2011 news report, Blair talked about feeling incredibly healthy. This guy is 570 pounds. Okay. Let, 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 me, let me redo that thing I just did earlier. 500 and, 570 pounds. 260 kilograms. Oh my god yeah. this is good stuff everyone should be modern size like myself however he <laughs> passed away size. before the interview even aired sadly oh. we now know how long that was go. blair died last week at the age of 29 his family says the cause of, of death was pneumonia even in death the heart attack grill maintained their brutally honest branding had he have been thinner he most probably would have survived that pneumonia aren't you glorifying obesity This guy, he's so brutally honest. This is the thing about him. He's just too honest. City, which Ab obviously kills. Absolutely. With Basso taking this. Absolutely, I, 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 I recommend my burger that kills you. Absolutely, come and eat my burger so you can die in front of me. And people do it because it's free. 
further in a different interview. If they do die here, I'm not going to lie to you. That's great for business. I'll say it again. Death what? is great for business at the Heart Attack Grill. Although the media's goal of discrediting the founder only did the opposite. It's actually refreshing to see someone so painfully honest. The owner is great. He makes no apologies, nor should he. You can't blame him for people doing this to themselves. Yeah. It's impossible to hate yeah. this guy because- Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not his fault. He's a dumbass who's doing dumb shit. But you are the one choosing to do the dumb shit. Like- he is enabling you, he's giving you uh, uh, free food, but you're the one walking there, opening the door and getting in. You're the one putting that in your mouth. Honest. In a different interview, Basso showed his more compassionate side by stating, cynical people might think this, Riva's death is funny, but people who knew him are crying their eyes out. There is a lot of mourning going on around here. You couldn't have found a better person. Even if he was skinny, we would have given him the job. We would have just put a fat suit on him. He just had personality, as did the restaurant's next spokesperson, Ernie oh, Hart, no. who wouldn't last long either, although for a slightly different reason. Well, in October 2011, Basso moved the restaurant to the land of indulgence, pleasure, and poor short-term choices, Las Vegas. The new and improved restaurant featured a public electronic cattle scale, as well as new signage reading, fighting anorexia since 2005, <laughs> and send hate mail to, followed by their address. The new location also led to a brand new slogan, Remember, the calories you eat in Vegas, stay in Vegas. As well as an instant increase in business. We've both doubled in terms of money, in terms of square footage. However, the crazy... What is this phenomenon? Like, f I don't understand it. Is the burger that good that people are still supporting this no matter how bad it is? This change was without a doubt their menu. Despite their quadruple bypass already holding the record for the highest calorie burger, the Heart Attack Grill then doubled their invention, creating the Octuple Bypass Burger, which featured eight patties, 40 pieces of bacon, and 19,900 calories. At around the same point in time, the Heart Attack Grill updated their website to include free video and images for the press, where the motivation for the Octuple Bypass Burger became pretty obvious. They were trying to generate media attention, and this is exactly can't even eat this man doesn't even have enough bread to make this worthy of eating you know what i mean like i'm the kind of person that likes to get a bit of bread and a bit of meat and a bit of like everything in my mouth but a bit of everything so the taste is good this is just like eating meat with cheese and like without without the bread maybe if you add fries to it or something this is so bad. Why am I even talking about this? This is can't even hold it. It's falling down. Exactly what they got. The new burger led to over a hundred million views worth of exposure. Ah, on Nicado Avocado. No wonder he's there. And this was like six years ago. Look, he was so much skinnier. Dude, I want to watch these videos. I want to see the reaction. That's crazy. YouTube, as different content creators visited the restaurant to see Look, if they could eat it. He's Those who could, such as Matt Stoney, it. were given a ride out of the restaurant in a novelty wheelchair, although there were others who were forced to leave in an ambulance. Yeah. A customer yeah. at the Heart Attack Grill was rushed to the hospital after eating a sandwich called the Triple Bypass Burger. In February 2012, an article was published titled, Man Has Heart Attack While Eating so at the sad. Heart Attack Imagine Grill, which is followed by another article and... only two months later reading, Heart Attack Grill lives up to its uh, name again this week, when a a woman collapsed in their Las Vegas vomit. restaurant. This marks the second person to fall victim to their horrifically caloric food in less than a year. Oh, when I told you I didn't even eat dinner and I'm hungry, I'm not hungry anymore. A heart attack I can't believe that looking at a burger makes me less hungry. Way, by bragging what is about life? it on their website. Two ambulance departures in less than 60 days left an indelible mark on the heart attack grill's <laughs> public image. Dr. John delivered a clear message to the media that such tragedies shall inevitably continue due to having clientele which he refers to as being the avant-garde of nutritional risk takers. Did that heart attack had... They're like, you know how people who like to sky skydive and they're like, I don't care if I put my life on the line. This gives me the feeling of life, the endorphins, the, you know, like that's what they, 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 they like to do it. So this is the, yeah, the adrenaline junkies. And we have on the other side, adrenaline junkies who are like, I'm not going to die from it. I'm going to, I'm going to keep going, you know, kill me if you can. Oh, what a life we live in. What a world. My wallet with.
lot of nutritional risk takers. Did Junkie. that heart attack pad my Because it is a drug after all. Absolutely. Did I enjoy that? Absolutely. Although this is still nothing compared to what would happen one year later. The heart attack Stomach. grill had a new unofficial spokesperson named John Elliman, who was recognized as the restaurant's most loyal customer. He never missed a day, even on Christmas, Basso said. People just loved him. He connected with people every in a real day. way. Although all of this changed on the 11th of February, 2013. After every... chowing down on his daily feed at the grill, John Elliman suffered a heart attack and died while waiting for the bus at the front of the store. This led to Basso's craziest PR stunt to date. They'll say it's grotesque. They'll yes, say, how, they will. how can you keep the man's cremation here? With Basso keeping the cremation inside the restaurant as he wants you to know his food kills so that maybe you'll stop eating junk. This man is... See, like, this is the thing. Is, is What is he doing? Is he doing the other way around things? <laughs> what is he? Is he trying to bring consciousness to how bad it is by enabling it, by glorifying it for a while? Because, listen, he's, like, literally putting it into your face. He, 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 uh, there is a dead per person there. While you're eating, he's, the dead person is cremated behind you. Okay? Is that not enough? What else will make you stop doing it? He's willing to sacrifice his reputation and maybe even his humanity this to try like and make Squid the Game. world a healthier place. I respect him for it. Basso believes the restaurant helps customers to reflect on their own choices, having stated anybody who's over 350 pounds gets on that scale. We applaud them like the big sumo wrestler they are, treat them like a champ, make them feel good for that so moment, dumb. give them free food all they want. But these people go home at night and they ponder that and say, wow, why did I just get free food and have the whole restaurant applauding for me? Because I'm a freak, plain and simple. No, 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 I don't think they think like that. Maybe that's what you think they think. What they think is like, I'm going to do it again tomorrow. I can't wait. That's what they think. Simple. Before adding, I'm it's running an so obesity intervention so and I think it works. I really do. Everybody should check out our Facebook and see a lot of people say, Hey, Dr. John, I've lost 82 pounds since the last time I was in. The it's the X factor. <laughs> something that snapped in that person that said, Wow, I'm going to make a change in my life. And they that's did. And that's wants. fabulous. With yeah, but like, let's say how many people are actually making a change and making a conscious decision to stop at that moment in time. Like, let's be honest, he's doing more harm than good. I would say like 1% of the people who end up there eating for free or whatever, change their lifestyle. Figure out that this is not for them. You know, like, it's, it's the same with any drug. It's the same with any drug. Like, how many people, like, they get an overdose or whatever and they realize, okay, it's time to change and they go to rehab or whatever. How many people do that? And how many people do get an overdose or almost die and then keep doing the same shit because they cannot stop? sentiment also showing up in the YouTube comments. The Heart Attack Grill restaurant has motivated me to take care of myself, stick to my diet. The namesake restaurant actually sends a very positive message. If you don't take care of yourself today, you might find yourself eating a free meal at my restaurant in the not so distant future because everyone over 350 pounds eats for free That's and therefore true. Basso believes the restaurant is an overall positive. I am a believer that when people hear my message, the net health benefit to society is incredible. Incredibly good. However, you won't be surprised to hear that not, not that everybody much. agrees. He's deliberately trying to get people to eat more than they need. With this being echoed by the legendary yep. Anthony Bourdain, who stated, There is a restaurant in Vegas, I think it's called the Heart Attack Grill, where if you're over 350 pounds, you eat for free. I think that should be pretty much a war crime. Yeah, On top of this, a former waitress went public, talking about her terrible time working at the restaurant, explaining that after a man passed out mid-meal, a manager made me take out my cell phone to record a video of the whole thing, so they could send it to the media. Yeah, as he said, dying in my restaurant is good. It was on a Friday afternoon no and he humanity. hoped it would make the news so they could have a busy weekend. On the opposite end of the spectrum, a different waitress stated this. I've been here 11 years. <laughs> I, 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 I enjoy this way too much. So the experience clearly depends on which person you ask. In a different instance, the PCRM sent a letter to Basso asking him to declare moral bankruptcy and close the heart attack grill. However, given the restaurant earned five and a half million in revenue last year, it seems obvious that Dr. John Basso and the heart attack grill stopping. won't be going anywhere anytime yep. soon. He's not stopping. When John and like, this is not a war crime. And uh, uh, like the, the media is not really talking about this as much. 
as they should. But this morning I woke up and I was on Instagram like scrolling and I saw in the news how Mr. Beast is coming up with an idea of putting two people in one room. Of course, there is a bathroom as well, separate bathroom for I think 100 days or something. And if they manage to survive, two random people who didn't meet each other before, if they manage to survive for 100 days, they will get $50,000 or something like that or or i 500,000 something like a lot of money i don't know exactly i think 500,000 50 is not enough um but either way like they get a lot of money 100k but 500k yeah doesn't matter a lot of money either way and basically now it's like people are saying oh wow he is enabling uh, uh poor people or using experiments on poor people like this would not happen if they were rich only people who need money will sacrifice that and do it and he's like putting an entertainment value on the poor people and they're making a whole thing about it all right like in my opinion if people choose to do that as a game and try it out and get rich why not we have so many showbiz uh, reality shows or whatever where people put their life on risks or whatever to get money and we watch that and we support it all the time and now that he's just putting two people in a small space for us to watch and get entertained is something that is not all right but this 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 is even worse you guys like this is literally worse people have already died it's proven not all right and people are still doing it so why is that covered by the media and this not really this is the first time I hear about it. 